Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. And <laughs> I feel like this is the week of finishing up projects. Um, I didn't intend for them to all be finishing at the same time, uh, but I guess they're just going to kind of do that. Um, so following up with our envelope uh, junk journal that we've been working on, this was the, um, if you didn't watch any of it yet, um, the Maggie Holmes Heritage Collection is what I used um, for the papers and all the journaling stuff. So I used that little one and then I also picked this one up from um, Michaels, which is the Rug Collections brand. And I don't know if they collaborated with Maggie Holmes and crepe paper or rip them off, but <laughs> the papers work hand in hand. So, um, anyway, that's the paper collection that I used. And then I also had the Heritage stickers, Maggie Holmes stickers. So I've used quite a lot of those actually. And then I also have this Maggie Holmes, um, sticker book, uh, that I did borrow a few pictures, or pictures, a couple of stickers from uh, there as well. So anyway, that's a quick recap of kind of what the papers are that we used for this one. So um, last time we looked at this, I had finished decorating this front uh, signature of envelopes and then um, basically finished this second signature and said I was going to mess around with where the envelopes um, were and then I had to finish backing like the backing the journaling cards that I had put in there and finish decorating so I've gone ahead and done all that and then at the same time I've created oh that's we need that okay I've created a signature to go in between and the signature is just all blank papers plus some um, book pages um, and there's 20 pages in here so it's a bit chunky but it's all just tea dyed papers and whatnot and um, for the cover I just took two pieces of the um, cardstock and backed them and glued them together and so that'll be our uh, middle signature. Um, also, last time, you probably remember seeing a different cover. <laughs> After doing all of this work, these envelopes got real chunky. Um, so I ended up having to double the size of the spine that I was that I had made for the inside. And then the um, fabric that I had chosen for the outside, in the end, I just, this was the fabric. It's a vintage floral, I don't know what kind of fabric that's called, but um, chintz fabric maybe? Anyway, um, I just didn't think it was quite right for the papers in the end. So I'll definitely use this. I'll make another junk journal and fill it with really fun stuff. But um, instead, I did a, I cut a whole new um, base and I'll link the um, other videos in this seri series in the description if you want to catch up back up. But um, I went ahead and made a whole new base. Um, I'm going to use that gray with the polka dot on the outside and then this is some Tim Holtz um, fabric that we'll put on the inside. Okay, so now we're caught back up and I've just gone ahead and pinned around the outside just so that the fabric doesn't go flopping all over the place on me while I'm trying to work. So, um, for the outside, for the cover, I think I would like to, I think I need to have these on inside so that it doesn't flop around on me. Sorry, these are a little bit unruly. <laughs> so, um, I don't know why, but I tend to go overboard sometimes when it comes to, um, sizes of journals. <laughs> this one's not small. It's uh, nine and a half, well maybe a little taller than that now with the fabric, but nine and some odd inches tall and, well let's just get the ruler out. Um, it's, well it really ends about there. So six and a half inches wide by 
yeah, it's nine and three quarters at least tall. So it's definitely not small with a two inch spine. <laughs> so uh, whoever ends up with this one, you're going to have a mama jama on your hands here. Okay. So anyway, um, this was too large really for it to fit on the inside. So I thought this would be a really cute um, decoration on the outside, but I have all these extra bits and pieces of paper that I thought we could use to kind of collage around, you know, underneath and stuff. Oh, and we can add a couple of tea bag pages as well. Let's do that dark one too. Um, so I thought we could maybe kind of come up with that real quick. I think I definitely want some polka dot <clears throat> and probably some of this. I don't really want it to take away from the image though, so we'll see. Um, the flowers in the image. So. I will ink everything. Actually, I should probably do that as I'm working. Why don't I do that now? So anyway, so yeah, I, uh, I've been enjoying finishing all these projects. It's kind of like a really good feeling. <laughs> um, sometimes when I'm working on a project for a really a while, it, I know it's not that long really, but it seems like some of these ladies can get through these journals so quick and I'm just like, oh, I don't, I just don't have the time or the stamina to sit and because they take hours, <laughs> they take hours. And every time you think it's not going to take quite as long, it takes that long and twice as long. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, I guess one of those things, but it feels good to be finishing them up. I'll just say that. Cause I'm ready to kind of get onto some new projects now. So, and um, I got some new furniture for my craft room, kind of uh, on the spur of the moment. And um, I was messing around with where to put put things, and you know, change some things up and. Lo well, and behold, now my whole craft room is changing, I feel like. So, <laughs> so yeah, there's that. Um, uh, we'll see. I, I feel like this will be a better solution in the end overall. Um, but at the moment, it's a little bit stressful for me because I'm just not quite sure, you know, how to feel about it all. Um, but... Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good in the end. So let's put this dark one up here. I think that'll look nice. And actually, I think we need to come down just a little bit from the top so that we have a pretty even space, top and bottom. Okay, I really liked this. But now I'm kind of wondering, would this not look as good with the other gray? Let's go ahead and ink this one up. So yeah, so I thought I'd come and finish the final bits with you on camera. And then I'm going to, I'll say this later again, I'm sure, but um, I'm going to list this one in my Etsy shop fairly soon, I think. I'm not sure quite when, but I like that. Okay, so let's see. This would be nice. I'm not 100% sold on that down there to be honest hmm.
And then we can pull that up just a little bit. And then I'm going to just try, I think I have some of that purple. And if I don't, I might rip off a bit of it. What have we got down here? I see, oh, teeny tiny piece of it. Well, let's see. I don't think I want to go nuts with the extra behind. Um, more from the bottom of this one and I'll look around oh you know what I should do I should put a label on the front of this somewhere maybe <laughs> if there's room we'll see grungy up at the top that's kind of cool and then this the good the thing to remember too is you don't always need everything to be underneath um, it's kind of cool to have some on top and some on the bottom um, kind of like this we got a weird little gap happening there Okay, I do want, I think, or some of this maybe. Oh, that's a little bit busy. Um, I'm gonna find some of that purple paper with the flowers on it. Sorry for my arm. question is where to put it. <laughs> Let's see. Could maybe do this. I don't really want it to be so close to the edge though. Oh, it's like a little puzzle. Okay. So I'm going to move this. Oops. Move all this down just a little bit. I think we'll tighten this up just a little bit. Put that over, get rid of that weird cap. I didn't think this was going to take this long. <laughs> Let's see. Pull this down. And... I need to ink around this one. Oh, you know what other color we need? We need that, like, ochre color. Hmm. 
Well, I didn't intend to have it in an entire frame, but it's looking kind of like that's what's happening now. So let's just go with it, I guess. And I'm sorry if I'm a little bit out of frame at all because I can't really see the <laughs> screen. <laughs> because the book is so big, I had to push the arm up all so much higher. <laughs> so I'll do my best. <laughs> okay. Love hearing those birds chirping. Wish they wouldn't do it so much in the morning though. <laughs> waking me up every day okay there we go for that I'm gonna go no I liked it better before and then I don't think I have any of that there I know exactly what I'm looking for question is will I find it quickly <laughs> here we go I saw this. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I know it's in here. Okay, sorry. Here it is. Okay. So I want just a little bit of this. I'm going to just go ahead and rip off the rest of that there. around with this just a little bit. No, stop moving. <laughs> I think I want that on the bottom. Oh, I need to ink around this. really want this all the black on the one side but I need to stand up and see how it looks
Okay. Need something right there. I'm gonna look for, oh, I don't know where anything is. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I've got, got this at a garage sale a long time ago. And it's got some things such as this in there that I think might be kind of nice up in that corner, but not that size. Uh, not that size either. We need. Here we go. Something like that. Yep. Okay, and then I just now see this needs to be ripped and inked. Okay. All right, I think I'm happy with this, so I'm going to very carefully glue all that down and I'll be back with you. Okay, so that is now glued down. So um, next thing I wanna do is figure out what I wanna put behind this. Mm, that could be pretty or, you know what I should do is find some dyed paper. Let's see what I can find here. Oh, or even some of this would be nice. You could kind of see through it. Hmm. I like that idea. Let me try ripping away some of this and see what it looks like. That's fine. Okay, so we'll do that. All right, so next step normally would be for me to, um, I will sew around all this and do some messy stitching. I went and looked in my stash. I had um, two vintage threads. Um, I think I might do this one. Yeah, I think I definitely like that one better. So I'll use that color of thread for all the stitching on the whole journal. Um, okay, so I need to keep these. Well, should I glue that down? I think I might as well go ahead and just glue around the perimeter of this so that hopefully it won't be seen through. Yeah, that'll look cool. Okay. And then I'll place that there later. That way I won't lose that piece of paper either. Okay, so instead of um, taking all this apart, sewing, putting it all back together, and then sewing again, because I want to, um, I want to add pockets on the inside. So I'm going to do all my sewing all at one time. Um, these papers are going to drive me crazy. So. I'll clean all that up before I come back after sewing. But um, for the inside, I want to do nice big pockets. And so I pulled out, this is an old handkerchief that I thought would work pretty well. Um, I think what I'll do is just cut it right down the middle and I'll just do pockets as big as um, each side is. 
I would rip it, but I don't know. Okay, well, <laughs> that worked better than I thought. Um, I do want to fold the top over and just do like a nice finger fold and um, sew that down too. So I'll do that. Um, so anyway, so here is, oh, hopefully I didn't screw it up. It wasn't meant to be torn apart like that. <laughs> okay. So... There's this one. Let's see how far. So I'll just go ahead and I don't think I'm gonna have the same size pocket on <laughs> both sides, but that's okay. Um, we'll use what we got here. I'm gonna put this off to the side. It's out of my way. Here we go. So, let's see. Is this the front or the back? That's the front. Okay. Make sure this doesn't go into my spine. Put that a little bit straighter. Um, I just like the design of this and this so much. I think it's kind of nice. I don't always like doing super frilly, frilly, lacy stuff. So, um, I think this will work well. Okay. So, I'm actually going to take this and very carefully pin it like so. And then... That'll be good. Okay. And then let's do the same thing on this other side. Oh, that's going to work perfect. Okay. I didn't intend to be able to use that whole thing, but it looks like I will be able to. So that'll be nice. Okay. Let me pull this in just a little bit. I'm going to have to spray it with a, a little bit of water um, to get rid of some of these wrinkles, but that's fine. So, um, yeah, we don't have the exact same size pocket on both sides, but that's all right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take all this apart, do my sewing, and I'll be back after that. Um, yeah, so let me tell you what I'm going to do for sewing. So first I'm going to, well, let me just do this real quick since I'm thinking about it and it's going to need time to dry anyway. Do a little bit of finger pressing here. Get rid of that crease. And then I'm just gonna press this down with my fingers and make, I like having a rough edge. So I'm just gonna make one fold. Um, if you were sewing clothing, you would fold this again to hide your frayed edge, but I like having that frayed edge. So, um, a little bit more water and make sure that stays where I want it. So I'm going to take this first of all to the sewing machine and do a stitch along this by itself and then I'll put it back onto my inside cover and stitch it only on this back um, fabric the inside fabric not to the entire thing we're gonna I'll do um, the front and back separately if that makes sense let's pin that down I don't normally pin things but in this case I think it'll help a little bit so okay so there's that and so I'll do the same thing with the this other pocket um, I'll take 
the cover fabric off. So this just to this piece of fabric here, do messy stitching so that it'll be hidden on the inside. You won't be able to see it on this side. And same with this. I'll take this piece of fabric off from the base altogether, do my stitching, and then I'm going to sandwich it all back together like it is now and do an entire a stitch around the entire front, around this the spine, the back, and then maybe a zigzag stitch around the entire perimeter of everything. Um, oh, I gotta figure out what I wanna do for a closure. <laughs> Let's get out some lace. We haven't used lace for a closure for a while, so. Oh, actually, this might be kind of perfect. It's not precious, but it's still really cute and it'll hold its um, shape. Or, this will be. No, this is too stretchy. It's going to be annoying. So we'll just go ahead and use that other one. I like that. Oh, I didn't even know I had those down there. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do all that um, stitching, and then I'll be back with you after that. I might check in once, and, once or twice in between. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. So. Okay, so here is the front cover minus that. Um, I ended up having to use the other thread. This thread, I didn't look closely enough. I, it's um, darning cotton thread. It's got two pieces of thread. Long story short, it did not play well with the sewing machine. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, um, just went with the other thread instead. So. All right, so let's go ahead and get this um, situ situated. Um, go ahead and find a couple of, oh nice, pull two out right away. There's one and two. So, um, I'm trying to decide what I want to do for the closure. I thought about doing a button here or something, um, but since I have that lace, I think I'll just do um, a simple, uh, a simple, uh, just tie them in a bow uh, on the side of the journal. I haven't done one like that in a while, actually. I usually just wrap it around the whole thing and tie it on the front or something, but I um, thought that would be kind of a nice change. Okay. So there's that half. Now let's do the other half. Is always tricky <laughs> and it's dark in here and I can't see what I'm doing I'm having a feel <laughs> okay oops here we go and you're never gonna see these because the batting is on the um and sandwiched in between but okay so there's our cover now um let me get this back the way I want it. So I ended up having to make the um, fabric just a little bit bigger than uh, the actual book portion um, because I wanted to make sure and have a little bit extra room on this side uh, because the book is a little bit fat and I just wanted it to have a little bit more breathing room. Um, and then I also want to make sure I sandwich all of that batting on the inside. So just want to have a little bit of extra um, all around the whole, whole thing. So as you can see, here's our pockets. Um, nicely placed. Uh, so there we go. Now I think... I'm going to, oh, 
this will be plenty. So let me just cut off some of this and cut that in half. And I'm gonna get my, I don't usually use uh, needles, but in this case, I think it's gonna help me out. So I'm gonna get my needles back out and um, pin things together. Make sure they don't come apart. Do all the four corners. And, you know, as a good sewer, I should be in a better practice of doing this. I just tend to go for it and figure it out as I go, but sometimes that is not helpful in the end. <laughs> okay, so let me get one on the top up here. Plus this will help me to know where the edge of the batting and everything is. So I can make sure it's nice and straight. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew my lace. Um in as I'm going around. So I'm going to line this up. I don't know how far in. We'll go that far in. It'll be nice and sturdy. And pin that in. That doesn't go anywhere. And the same thing on the other side. Um, and I'm going to do, like I said, uh, sew around the perimeter of the front, back, and spine, and then the perimeter of the entire thing. That's kind of how I like to do mine, so why not keep doing it that way? Let's see. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? <laughs> I totally eyeballed that. Okay, so... So, 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 let's go sew. And I'll be right back after that and close out the video. Okay, guys, well, this is how it turned out. I went ahead and sewed around the perimeter of each section twice with a straight stitch. Um, and then here's the back. Got a little bit of messy stitching happening. I got a little issue with the sewing machine there, but that's okay. It adds to the charm. <laughs> um, got our closure nice and snug. Um, here's how the inside looks. I haven't uh, done the, I haven't sewn the signatures in yet, but I'll do that on my own. But here's our nice two big pockets, nice and large, but still kind of see-through. So really fun. You can see what you're doing there. So anyway, I'll go ahead and um, sew in the signatures. That's going to take another bit of time because i got to make a template and get it all evenly spaced out. But um, for now, I'm going to go ahead and tie up our little book. And then I can cut some of this ribbon off because it is far too big. <laughs> So let's just do about that much. Okay, so this is how the journal is going to look basically. Um, and so, yeah, I'll sew them directly into the spine. It's got three signatures. Um, and it's nice and cushy and it just feels good. It's a big book. So I'll have that up on my Etsy shop um, in the next few days and um, do another final flip through. Uh, for that and I'll see you all very soon. Okay. Bye guys.